to get this little bit of material off of the nozzle before I reprint. See just how much of that is on there. All right, thanks to Jason Gill for this comment. Uh, basically, Bamboo upgraded their newer printers with a rubber finger style wiper. And so the P1S has the older roller style wiper, which you can actually upgrade by printing a new model and installing it. So let's go check that out. So over here in Maker World, I found the model. So let's go ahead and download it. So I got this sliced and ready to go on A1. 22 cents worth of material with a 29 minute print time. All right, so I just 3D printed this. This is the wiper version 3.4 off of Maker World. So you can go download that for free. Looks pretty slick. These just click together just like that. And then this is a wiper pad off of an A1. So I'm just gonna take that and fit it to size. and it already has this um, adhesive backing on it. So we're gonna try that out. If that doesn't work, I'll just take it off and clean it, use some super glue. Well, that looks pretty promising. Let's go try it out. So by default, you can see the P1S comes with its little roller pre-installed, and that's supposed to be your nozzle wiper. Yeah, that doesn't really make any sense to me either. I guess it kind of worked. By some miracle. Okay, so it looks like this will just slide right in there like that. So first we'll have to take out these two screws and then we'll have to take this screw out here to take the roller out. All right, don't want to lose that, so I'll set it up. So I don't know if that's going to fix my problem completely, but there's absolutely no way it's going to be worse than what was on there before. Oh, hey, I guess I could just move this. That's a good idea. So you can see even after all that, there's still a little bit left on there. So I think the moral of the story is that PTG just kind of sucks to 3D print.